Success doesn't last forever for everyone. Some celebrities destroyed their own reputations in a matter of seconds, while others took a little more time to dismantle their Hollywood heydays. Comedian Shane Gillis nearly joined Saturday Night Live as a cast member in 2019, but he was fired before ever appearing in a single sketch. What happened? Seth Simons, whose Twitter account describes himself as a freelance newsletter-based comedy labor journalist, posted clips of Gillis on Twitter, making remarks and jokes that some interpreted as sexist, homophobic, or racist. The press circulated the isolated commentary, which included derogatory joke remarks about Chinatown and its residents, as well as about Democratic 2020 presidential candidate Andrew Yang. After days of public outcry, a rep for SNL said in a statement, After talking with Shane Gillis, we have decided that he will not be joining SNL. We are sorry that we did not see these clips earlier, and that our vetting process was not up to our standard. Gillis then posted a quasi-apology on Twitter, writing, It feels ridiculous for comedians to be making serious public statements, but here we are. I'm a comedian who was funny enough to get SNL. That can't be taken away. Of course I wanted an opportunity to prove myself at SNL, but I understand it would be too much of a distraction. I respect the decision they made. I'm honestly grateful for the opportunity. I was always a mad TV guy anyway. Janelle Evans was fired from her longtime gig on MTV's Teen Mom franchise. And what's tragic is that it wasn't even entirely her fault. In May 2019, Us Weekly reported that MTV cut ties with Evans after her second husband, David Eason, shot her French bulldog Nugget that April. While it's unclear whether the incident or its aftermath is what made MTV pull the plug, many advertisers, most notably the pet treat company Greenies, backed out of Teen Mom 2 at the time. Evans even temporarily lost custody of her children after the horrifying event. MTV had already severed its relationship with Eason in February 2018, after it was discovered he posted homophobic comments on social media. Although the show attempted to film around Eason, this caused Evans to appear less and less on the series, which likely made it easier for MTV to flatline her reality TV career entirely. That's why I said I need to think about this, because that's a big decision. Thankfully, Evans is easing her way out of what she alleges was an incredibly abusive marriage. She announced in October 2019 that she was divorcing Eason, and E! News reported in November that Evans obtained a restraining order against him. Of all things for TMZ cameras not to catch, TMZ Live personality Van Lathan was fired from the show in October 2019 after allegedly getting into a physical altercation with fellow TMZ talking head Michael Babcock in the newsroom. Page Six reported that Lathan and Babcock got into a spat that was edited out of the show, and that after filming wrap the same day, Lathan confronted Babcock behind the scenes, which led to his termination. Lathan later appeared on Jamel Hill's podcast, Jamel Hill is Unbothered, where he revealed Babcock was actually his closest friend in the TMZ offices, and that he was unhappy that he was portrayed in the media as, quote, a dangerous or mean, mad, angry guy. He also said his colleagues threw him a farewell party when they learned of his firing, and that Babcock attended. Lathan also told Hill that he planned on leaving TMZ eventually, it just happened sooner than he expected and not on his own terms. Still, Lathan may not be toast. In November 2019, Lathan, who still hosts his Red Pill podcast, was added to the lineup of the Central Ave TV show, where he continues to probe the important issues of our time. What makes John Legend sexy to you? Former Law & Order Special Victims Unit star Diane Neal killed her public image and possibly her co-star camaraderie after her alleged tirades leaked in a real-life court battle with her ex-magician J.B. Ben. Neal, who lost a campaign for New York's 19th Congressional District in 2018, allegedly told her then-campaign manager Rachel himself that all of her SVU co-stars were, quote, awful people and that she only got along with Ice-T according to court documents obtained by Page Six. It wasn't just her co-star Smack Talk that made Neil look like a PR disaster. Audio recordings Ben allegedly made of Neil revealed her verbally abusing him and making sinister threats. In one clip, Neil allegedly calls Ben, quote, a horrible, horrible person. Himsel reportedly said in court documents that she feared for Neil's mental health and that Neil frequently spoke of wanting to murder Ben. Neil alleged that Ben was physically abusive on the day one of the audio recordings was made. She also denied saying the comments about her SVU co-stars, Adding of Mariska Hargitay, Mariska and I were not the closest, but that doesn't mean we have any animosity towards each other. We're still very supportive of each other. These aren't the only celebs who screwed up in 2019. Check out our other list of career-ending blunders right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.